How's it going guys? It's Derek with Fire Ice Bow Fishing again. This is going to be part two of the Swamp Eye Bow Fishing Lights, the 160 watt. Uh, this episode we're going to kind of show you how I mount them on the boat and uh, go through how I ran the wires and how I set everything up. Trevor asked me to do an install video, try to walk everyone through, give them some ideas. So step one is we got to get all these lights off the boat and then I'm going to start working on unpackaging the rest of the, the brand new Swamp Eyes and we'll check back in whenever uh whenever i get that done so that way uh we can go over install this is going to be probably a lengthy video because it takes a while to install lights so i'm going to cut out as much bulk as i can to shorten it up because i don't want to make it too boring but bear with me if it stays a little bit longer so stay tuned and we'll go over install all right so all the lights are off the boat as you can see um that was a chore but the boat came with uh, six lights and from the factory they welded these brackets on. I'm going to try to reuse those on the uh, swamp eyes. Alright, so these holes are a little too big, so I'm going to take a step bit. So now, that fits through. See, that's too small, so I'll just water this one out a little bit. Okay, good to go. Okay, so I got the power supplies mounted, all 10 of them below the deck here. As you can see, I have like storage boxes for like tackle and waltz and that kind of thing up here. So I removed my black storage boxes underneath my deck here. Gonna bring it down where you can see it. I have five per side amount of the power strips there. Just zip screwed them into the bulkhead and they're running back to a power strip that's already mounted down here for my old lights. This thing's already wired up for my generator, so I just went ahead and plugged those in, so five per side, so that's the right side. If you look over here, we have five more, so that's this side. And then the wires, eventually will chase up and around where you see those going right there. So when I run those around, they'll come out those holes and go up to the light and I just chase them down the rail. All right, so we got all the lights mounted. All 10 of them are mounted, so up here on the front, where we have the welded brackets already in place. I just went ahead and drilled those out and we were able to use those. Back here, we used the brackets from Swamp Eye and I just went ahead and drilled holes. Uh, most of the holes were already there, I only had to drill one hole. But as far as wiring goes, we have the power wire coming off each one. That's a little bit confusing, but the power wires all chase down here below the deck. And then where I showed you earlier, they come down here and tie in to the power supplies. Then we came and did kind of link them in series. We have a T connector coming off that backlight, going to this light, and then we use an extension lead. Come up here and we tie it in this third light, extension lead, tied in the fourth light, and then I messed up and didn't order enough T's. So I gotta call Trevor and have him send me another one. But basically, we'll have another T there and then this button will sit somewhere along this rail. So we're gonna get that other T in the mail and clean this bar up and make it look nice and pretty and I'll come back and show you the finished product. All right, so we got the lights mounted um, and wired up. Wiring it was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be just cause you had a lot of extra cable length, but it's a trade game. So it was very easy to install them and plug them all together uh because of the adapters but it was a little bit tougher because you had so much wire and so many adapters to hide so if you had a, a closed rail system then it'd probably be easier but an open rail system like mine it was kind of a pain so i'm gonna jump in the boat and show you how we did it all right so as you can see here we got this is the control wire for the dial this is the power wire or i may have those backwards i can't tell when it's in the wrapper but basically put them in this protective coating and use some tape um, don't buy Harbor Freight electrical tape because it doesn't stick very well. But came down here, we have big bulges where the plugs connect together for the cables. Uh, we just wrap the T's down and splice them in and basically just zip tied it and ran it down the entire rail system. Again, if you were to have boxes, this would all be nice and pretty, but we don't have boxes, we have rails. So the trade-off to having plugs and easily wiring and unwiring lights is it's not going to be the prettiest. So that's about the best we were able to come up with. 
the button just sticks on right there. I'll show you the other side here in a second. But if you can notice, the tab right here is busted off. I went in and just broke that off. It's pretty cheap plastic of where you could screw them because it kind of just got in the way. So it worked better just to break that off and use the 3M tape. So if we come over here to the other side, this one's on the outside of the front light rail just because of where it happened to sit in the wire loom. But you just click them and turn them. Um, and the wire goes down. Definitely not the prettiest, but it's the nicest we're going to get to look with open rails and so much extra cable to hide without just buying a bunch of extras and getting the shovel right at the deck. I'll show you this light right here. Uh, you can see the bracket. It's kind of dented and bent. I'll bring around the other side and show you. We knocked this one really hard on the dock and basically stopped the boat with the light. And that's all the damage it did. So the bracket surprisingly held up fairly decently for as hard as we hit it. I only had these lights on here one time and already trying to damage them, but it held up. All right, so that's going to basically wrap it up for the uh, for the lights here. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out if you have a rail system like I do. If you have a deck over or boxes, you're obviously going to be able to hide your wires a lot better than I was able to. But that's what I was able to come up with. Um, if you're interested in bow fishing lights, make sure to get a hold of Outrigger Outdoors. Talk to Trevor down here below in the uh, description for the video. There'll be a link to his website. And make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to us at firehousebowfishing.com. Uh, at the end of this, I'll put up a couple of videos of tonight that we'll go take and uh, kind of show you what the lights look like on the water from white to orange and in different water qualities. Hopefully we can find some muddy and some clear water to show off the lights. But... Thanks for watching and uh, make sure to check us out, firehousebowfishing.com.